Hello and welcome PML fans, I am your host Joe Zamore here, and I am bringing you week 6 of the PML Draft. Alright guys, so <clears throat> this week we got Quake, Master Quake, and he has that very dangerous Durant, he has a very dangerous Drake Azult. Um, no way to get up sand unless uh, he's relying on Durant, Rock, Max Rockfall. Um... So that could be very interesting there. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and lead off with Rusted Wing here. Get up some uh, Stealth Rocks. See what he decides to lead. Uh, maybe Mr. Rhyme. Maybe Colossal. <laughs> I have no idea what he could lead. <clears throat> All I know is uh, Rusted Wing could take pretty much anything from anyone. And let's see how we can fare against Mr. Quake today. So good luck, have fun, Quake. Chartreuse versus Master Zero. All right, let's see who he leads out first. Porygon 2. Kind of had a feeling. <clears throat> Kind of had a feeling, but didn't, wasn't sure, wasn't sure. And this thing could just thunderbolt me to death. So I'm just going to go Stealth Rocks here. Because I want my rocks. I want my rocks up. Alright, he goes for Thunderbolt. Takes me down to Sturdy. And I'm going to go for a body press here. And let Skarmory go down. We should do a good chunk, right? Great chunk. <clears throat> I, wish he knew, I wish I knew he was going to go try attack so I could have roosted. But fair enough. Okay, so from here... I'm going to go Cordova. Um, I'm hoping High Jump Kick does enough damage from here. Highly doubt it. Because Porygon 2 is bulky. But never say never. And I don't believe Quack, Quake has a Ghost type. So I should be good to just High Jump Kick here. It will be stab. So let's knock this P2 out before it becomes a problem. And we do enough. Yes. So P2 is down. That wall is broken. I wonder if he scarfed Drake is ult. If he scarfed Drake is ult, that could be a problem. Because then he'll be faster than Cinderace, and I was really relying on Cinderace to be faster without sand around. Okay, he's going Mr. Rhyme here. Very interesting play. He does take the rock damage, so he's not heavy duty boots. And we're just going to go for the Pyro Ball. Oh, Mr. Rhyme was scarfed. Very interesting play. All right, so what do we do from here? I think I go to Yoda and Cosmic Power. Psychic ain't going to do much. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and get our Cosmic Power 1. He'll probably try to hit us, but I bet he switches. Yep, straight up switch. Who's he going to? Drake is ult right away. <clears throat> Alright. Cosmic powering here. Let's 
I'm just going to go for the Moon Blast. We are just trading mines right now. We should be able to live the hit since we got a Cosmic Power up. I'm going to go for the Moon Blast. He goes for Iron Tail. Okay. And maybe he predicted a switch into uh, Nido King. So we get damage off there. I'm not ready to let Yoda go down yet. I'm going to go to Gummy Bear. Hoping he Iron Tails again. Alright, so Gummy Bear is going to come take this Iron Tail very well. And we will live a Bolt Beak. Easily. So we're going to go ahead and Ice Beam here. Oh, he go he withdraws. Maybe he was stuck in uh that move right there. He was probably trapped into uh Excuse me. He was probably trapped into Iron Tail. Um I'm going to slow teleport out. I don't want to give this thing a speed boost. Oh, so he does get up a sandstorm on his own. That's fine, though. Because Lycanroc is faster than Drake's ult. So let's go lethal dose here. We won't be faster than Draco's ult under sand. Okay. He has no flying Pokemon. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go for the uh, earth power here. So Colossal goes down. Needle King gets a kill. Man, I really wish I would have switched Clefable on the Mr. Mime. But who would have thought? Scarf Mr. Rhyme. He's going to Malamar here, wasting his sand turn. Mm. Well, I guess he's not wasting it because we can't kill <clears throat> from this range. Um, should we max here is the question. We have Yoda, we have Gummy Bear, and we have Lone Wolf. We have Scarf on, Scarf on Nido King, but that could still come in handy. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go for the, the Max Ooze. He might be maxing himself, but I'm going to make the play. I probably, I probably threw right there. Oh man, I probably shouldn't have done that. I should have just went for the at max earth. I mean the earth power. All right, let's see what he does. He doesn't max, so we get the max ooze. Oh, and that doesn't even kill. That doesn't even go halfway. Alright, so he's going to psycho cut us. We should live it. Critical hit. Alright. That does have a good chance. I think I'm going to go for... I'm going to just go for the max ooze again. Get rid of this thing. Oh no, he probably goes Durant here. Oh, he does. 
<clears throat> no, he goes Draco's ult. Interesting play. Oh, it goes down to Rock. He's sacked. Okay. He wanted Durant to come in safely then. All right, this is where I swap. Because he's going to max. So I'm going to sack Yoda here. Because I'm faster than this thing because I'm Scarf. So I don't want to lose Needle King just yet. Draco's ult was his big threat, and it's gone now. <clears throat> so what does he do here? He goes for the Max Quake. So he does get a special defense boost, but I still think Flamethrower knocks it out. We'll just have to see. So Sandstorm is gone. Lycanroc is no longer faster than this thing. But it's okay. Lethal Dose should be. And I put the EVs on it this time. So it should be. Max Flamethrower should be enough. I mean, uh... Scar flamethrower should be enough. And it is. Durant goes down. Great turn of events there. Good thing we didn't sack Yoda earlier. Okay, what does he have left? Mr. Rhyme. <clears throat> Alright, so it's Scarf versus Scarf here. Our Scarf wins, I think. And we just go for the flamethrower. Get the kill. And it does. So Mr. Rhyme goes down. Nido Queen is having a late game. I mean, Nido King, sorry. Is having a late game sweep here. Uh, hopefully Malamar has enough damage on it that we can just knock it down now. But the real MVP goes out to those rocks at the beginning of the match. So we win with the handily 3-0 versus Quake. G G Quake. That was a hell of a battle. And luckily we came out on top. So GG to you. And best of luck next week. We will see you guys next time.